Alright, hello everyone, and in this video I want to show you guys that you don't have to pay a lot to get a lot. So, I was recently pricing out parts for Victor, and one of the big caveats of getting the Z170 chipset is that it's freaking expensive. It's expensive as hell, to be honest. So, going back to the Z97 platform was probably the best decision, because it saved me about $300 in the long run, in comparison to other chipsets, motherboards, processors, and the upgraded DDR4, which, sadly, I'll have to do at some point, but at this point, I don't need to do. So, Let's go ahead and unbox the ASRock Z97 Anniversary Edition. Alright, so simply opening the box reveals that you have your software CD that also has a very cool case sticker for you to put on your case. And you also have your giant manual, like I've seen a lot of manuals, but they call it a quick installation guide and it's that thick yeah I suppose the English version isn't that thick but it does have several languages so just tossing that all off to the side going ahead and opening up we'll get to the motherboard here in a second so this has been open box certified so what that means is that it someone tried to use it they didn't want it and it came back to the factory or the person who sold it. So you have your IO shield and two, one angled and one flat, uh, SATA, I believe, six gigabit or SATA three SATA connectors. Moving on to the motherboard itself, this thing is a beauty. Let's go ahead and slide it out. Now, as you can see, it's been packaged on top of anti-static uh, foam so that you can easily move it about without really having to worry about anything. And sadly not going to my build as far as colors go is the blue, but the blue is absolutely beautiful on these coolers. Um, the VRM cooler and the chipset cooler are this nice polished blue tealish color that really stands out from the other motherboards. And honestly, it's a decent motherboard like for expansion and stuff based off of the price. Because again, I got this for $76 roundabout. So you have, let's go around the side, you have two USB 2 ports. You have one PS2 combined port. You have your HDMI, what appears to be uh, printouts for uh, DVI and uh, VGA. So you could essentially add those in the future, however you would need soldering abilities. And you have four USB 3.0 ports and one uh, gigabit LAN. And then you have your ELNA audio. On top of that, you have your standard... Uh, I believe this is PCI, PCIe version 3.0 for all of these. Your 6 SATA 6 gigabit a second connectors. You'll have those that you can play around with. Um, and you obviously have your dual channel memory. Now again, because this is the Z97 uh, platform, this will only fit the has well and I believe it will also fit Ivy Bridge however don't quote me on that so that's all the processor that's going to be able to go into this so this has just been an unboxing and overview Victor is still being built and I'm still as of this recording waiting for the RAM and a couple other components that are less required but yeah this has been a nice unboxing and first look at one of the pieces that will go eventually into Victor. 
So I want to thank everyone for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye. Yeah.